Let's take one more problem on factorization, simple factorization. Suppose you are told to factorize x, y, q, z plus x cube y z plus x y z cube. Okay. Again, how do I do it? I write these three the way they are coming. Okay. Now you notice that the expression x has the highest value of 3 out here. So even though it might be coming once in one of these equations, there are three spaces that I leave when I point it out for x. So I write it as x into, yeah, I just have 1 here. So I write this as 1 into 1 into y into y into y into z. Similarly, and then maybe I can rub these. These are not required. You have x cube z. So x cube z will be written as what? x cube x into x into x. So 3x into y. y is only one power. So nothing goes here. Nothing goes here into z. Then I take x, y, z, so x again comes only once into y also come again only once into z, into z, into z, z cube, right? Now I again find out what are the common factors. So x is a common factor across 3, y is a common factor across 3 and z is the common factor across 3. What are the signs I have? Plus, plus. So there's a big plus here and there's a big plus here. So whatever are the common factors, just like I was doing earlier, I put them out into a separate bracket into. So the first one, what is the first one? Y into Y. I can write it as Y into Y or I can simply write this as Y square. Then the sign is what? Plus. Okay. Plus X into X. So I can write this as X square. Do I have anything else over here? No, so x goes, x goes, I don't have anything else. Plus, why? Because the sign is plus here. z square. Or I can write this as x, y, z into x square, which is this, plus y square plus z square. So I have achieved a factorization of a particular number without actually getting into many complexities. These are the simple ones that you have. What we see after these are going to be a bit more difficult.